Well, hello everybody, I'm back. And look at me, I'm looking a little different. Got my hair done. I love it. The fabulous Michelle at Artistic Hair in Apex, North Carolina. She just always does such a great job and just makes me feel so awesome. So thank you, Michelle. So we're back today and we are gonna finish up with what I found at the bins in Winston-Salem at the Goodwill bins. We are also going to finish up, go uh, actually hunting at, I got the receipt here, so it says West Burlington, but I think it was actually like Gibsonville area of North Carolina, and it's a Goodwill there, and I'm so glad Kelly took us there because their prices were fantastic, and they had a lot of great stuff on the shelves, and most importantly, they didn't use black marker. They used stickers, so that's awesome. I love that. So we're gonna go over all of the stuff that we found there. And I think that'll wrap up this part two of the part one, thrifting with the thrift of tears. If you didn't catch part one, just go back one video and you'll see part one and this is part two. So let's get thrifting. First, we are going to um, finish up everything we found at the bins. That's what we'll do first. So when I left you last, I was talking about all these great records I actually have uh, narrowed it down just to a few I want to show you real quick but all these great records these 45s that were at the bins and they were just in there and I didn't film me grabbing them all I wish I had because these turned out to be one of the great treasures that we found and we're playing them and they're not skipping and it's awesome so some of the artists like I'm gonna start right out with this one and I just was shocked Elvis Presley love me tender I mean it doesn't get any better than that with a vintage 45. Here's Marvin Gaye. Let's get it on. These were in the bins. I can't believe it. The Monkees. David Bowie. I mean, can you just believe this? Uh, let's see. Who's this? Patsy Cline. That one looks a little rough. This is Fats Domino. Are you kidding me? Fats Domino. The Beach Boys. P-Funk. I mean, these are just awesome. Peter Frampton. Frampton. Let me say that right. Peter Frampton. The Beatles. Let's see, which one is it? It is, oh my gosh. It's my, it's my favorite song by the Beatles. It's my favorite song by the Beatles. I love this song. Ah, oh, I'm so happy about that. I love Steve Miller Band. So these are just some of them. Credence Clearwater <laughs> Revival. I just, I, the Bee Gees. I could just go on and on. It was just another Credence Clearwater. Sly and the Family Stone. Stevie Wonder. I mean, how can Captain and Tennille and let's see, Herman's Hermits, Elton John. I mean, you just, it was awesome. It was just so awesome. I'm, I'm just, Steve and I love vinyl. It just reminds us of our youth, you know, our teenage years, our early 20s, and uh, even before that. And we just, we listen to vinyl every single weekend in this house, every single weekend. Steve has a huge collection of vinyl. And he was thrilled, thrilled to get these. So it was, it brought me a lot of joy that I actually brought home something from my long day of treasure hunting that he really loved. Guys, this was the very first piece that I picked up at the bins. Look at this gorgeousness. Look at this. This was at the bins. This is a fantastic gown. It is absolutely stunning. And I'm going to tell you, if I can lose enough weight, I am on a weight loss journey. I'm trying to lose, believe it or not, like 40 pounds. I don't know if it's going to happen. I've lost 10, so I've got 30 more to go. But I don't even know if this would fit me if I lost 40 pounds. I might be able to wear this if I lose another 10. I love this gown. I love this gown. It's gorgeous. I cannot believe this was at the bins. And I was really hoping that this would say... Um, Couture, but it's a Jessica Couture, right? Isn't that a Jessica McClintock, a Couture? Hold on. 
Yeah, I just had to go double check that. Yeah, because I just wanted to make sure I was right on that. It, yeah, Jessica McClintock is a couture. This does not say couture on it. This is a size 10. It's made in the United States. It has no damage whatsoever. It is in beautiful shape. I really, I, I really am debating on whether to put this in the booth. I might put this in the booth that if you really want this, you're gonna pay for it price um, because gosh, I would just love to be able to wear this somewhere. I love this gown. I think it's stunning, just stunning. So Joanne found this and she knows I'm a rock hound, so she let me have it. I'm a rock hound, but I'm not good at remembering all the names of the rocks. I really love them. I think they're beautiful, but I don't know all the names of them, so I'm not going to be able to pull them all out. I would have to pull each one out and, you know, Google lens it. But, I mean, some of these rocks are just absolutely gorgeous. Let's see if we can get my phone to cooperate. My phone doesn't cooperate with this close-up uh, very well, so... I'll do the best I can for you. But some of these are really pretty. Some of them are um, polished. Now this, I think, might be a petrified wood piece. Let's see if we can get that to focus. Come on, phone. I wish my phone would cooperate, but it's not. Anyway, there are just the whole, there's this whole container full of them. And I do, I love all of these. So I'll be keeping these for myself. I decided to pick these up because I do put crafting things in the booth. And this is a nice mat. It's in the plastic still. I'll pull it out here and give you a look at it, but it's in good condition. Does not even look like it's really been used. I don't see any markings on it where somebody's cut across it. So I would say this is in good, good condition. And then there's a little one for treasured memories, a smaller one. So they were in the bins, why, why go to the dump? Let's, let's put them in the booth. We'll put them at a good price and somebody will grab it. This is actually from last week when I was with my good friend Dixie, thrifting at uh, the Durham Rescue Outlet bins. She said this was a really good thing to have. It's called a thunder shirt and it helps your fur babies not be afraid of the thunder. Now it is nasty, I've gotta wash it all up. That's the um, case. But here's the actual shirt itself. Now, I don't have a, a dog. We have a, we have Madison, our cat. So this would be something I've got to clean all up. And I just think somebody probably would want this, you know, for their puppy or their dog. It's um, it probably tells you a size on it, but it absolutely needs cleaning. I'd have to find the size. Let's see. It's a large, so it would be for a large dog. But I'm gonna clean this up and um, you know, get it in the booth. If it doesn't sell in the booth, then I'll donate it to you know, a, a local shelter or something, and maybe it'll help one of the puppies there or one of the dogs there. This is just a, uh, it's not a cross stitch. Well, maybe it is. I don't know, it, it doesn't have the X's. Usually a cross stitch will have like X's, so this might just be embroidery. But it's on a hoop, and it's a pineapple, which is for, you know, welcome. It's the welcome sign. So it was in the bins, didn't weigh anything, so I thought, why not give it a try? Joanne showed me this. She said that she already had one of these before, and that one of her viewers told her that this is a, some type of beater. So I said, well, I'll give that a try because in uh, Collected Treasures down in Garner, in one of our booths, we have a lot of kitchen items. And we have people that enjoy collecting these kitchen items. So I'm going to give this a try there. One of the things I found at the, at the bins that I, I know nothing about except for, I thought, well, this has got to be something, is this little device. Now, if there's anybody out there who does any type of rock climbing, I guess you could appreciate this and know what this is. I looked this up online. Let's see if I've got this correct. Let's see, there we go. It's some type of rigging for rock climbing. It looks like it is all intact. I opened it up, it does need a little cleaning inside. But it looks like all of it is there. And I looked these up and some of them are listed for like $180. And Kelly told me that there was a guy there, he was digging through the bins and he was grabbing all of this type of gear. So he, made a, he might have missed this piece or there might be something wrong with it. 
Now what I'm going to do with this, because I don't sell online, we don't sell online, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our local store, it's called Play It Again Sports, and what they will do is they will give you a very discounted price, and, and if it's in you know working condition and they can resell it, they'll resell it. But I figured, why not? I'll start there and see what kind of price we can get. And on that note, you see these, this softball and this baseball back here. I grabbed those too. <laughs> okay, because um, same thing. I have a whole bag of softballs and baseballs that I've pulled out of the bins, and I'll take those to play it against sports, and they'll give me money for them. Why not? What you heard crashing to the ground were these little trucks. So this is a Mattel, and it's from 2002. Little truck. And this one is a Mattel from 1999. Little Mattel. And then this one is a Hot Wheels from 2002. I'll just probably put these all in a little baggie and, and, and just put one price on all of them. I'm sure we do have sometimes some... Um, some kids that come in the booth looking for things like that. We, we were stocking our booths with a lot of toys and things, but it, it didn't do real well. One thing I did do that was fun, kind of fun in our booth, and maybe this is something you might want to try if you do have a booth, is we did um, surprise toy bags. So I would take something like this, maybe some more items, maybe six or seven items in each bag, and just put $2 on it. And it would just be a, a surprise. It would be in a brown paper, like, uh, lunch bag and it would just say surprise toy bag and I would put like two dollars on it. It was just something fun for the kids to, to purchase and, and have fun with. So I might reintroduce that. I haven't done that in a while. I did take that out but uh, I might reintroduce that because you know we do have those youthful shoppers too. Okay I think the last couple things to show you are a few books. Do you have a few books to show you? I thought this was groovy. I liked it because the cover is so groovy. It's got a robot on it. I love the, the, the graphics here on it. And it's a Choice of Gods. It's from 1970, 1972. So, thought why not? Grab that. I also grabbed some VHS. Now, Believe it or not, we actually do sell some VHS. They don't sell for a lot of money. But we do put VHS in our booth, and we do sell them. And my understanding is that the, the horror films actually sell the best. So I did pick up some horror films. I picked up Jeepers Creepers 2. I don't like horror films. Steve likes them. I don't like them. But I did pick these up because my understanding is there are people that collect them. And so I grabbed them. I, I, I will probably save them for the Halloween, for the Halloween booth. And I picked up Freddy vs. Jason. That's all the horror ones I picked up. Now this is my very favorite one that I picked up. I might ask my good friend who helps me out with Legos and Pokemon cards and stuff if this is something that he would like to have for his collection. This is Star Wars. It's from 1977. I think this is an awesome VHS. I, I love it. And then, look at this one. E.T. I mean, who remembers Friday night, stopping by the Blockbuster, picking out your movies, hoping that somebody hasn't grabbed the movie that you want to see and that the movie's still on the shelf so that you can get it for the weekend. You know, loading up on a bunch of films for the weekend. I mean, I remember it. It was fun. And I picked up this, Little Rascals. That was actually my first job when I was younger. My very first job, besides my self-employment job where I made wreaths for Christmas, but my very first job was working at a, a VHS store. It wasn't Blockbuster, but it was, a, it was a video store. So I just remember that. I just remember Friday nights, it just being so busy. Everybody coming in after work and getting their videos. Some other books that we picked up is Jesus is Calling. This is brand new. It's never been opened. It's for, it was originally 1999. I Every time I see this book, I pick it up. It sells every single time that I get it. And then I also picked up, I thought this was awesome, the Illustrated Everyday Bible um, Companion. This is great. This I mean, if you're doing Bible study, this is a great book. And let's see, how much was this originally? 
It says $25 on it, so definitely grabbed that. Also picked up this vintage Devotion and Praise Orchestration. Let's see, what year is this from? Oh my gosh, this is, this is almost antique. This is from 1938. Hey, was this one of my, <laughs> was this one of the things I was supposed to find an antique book from the 1930s? Well, here we go. I love it. And I picked up Finland Nature's Table. I thought this was pretty cool. I'm going to shut this off so we don't have this reflection. There we go. I'm going to get a little reflection, but this just goes over Finland potatoes and cabbages. It's, a, it's kind of like it has recipes, but also kind of has discussion about things. I thought it was pretty neat. I've never, oh my gosh, look how pretty that is. I've never really um, studied Finland. So this would be, a, I think, a very interesting book. Pick that up. Picked up Primitive Worlds. Love the cover on this. Look at the colors in that. What year is this one from? Let's see. 1973. 1973 this is from. Make sure I don't show something I shouldn't <laughs> and get a ding, but Primitive Worlds. And you know I'm gonna pick up some type of recipe book, Casseroles. This one is Favorite Recipes of Home Economics Teachers. So maybe there's some really good recipes in here. I'm thinking possibly. So definitely grabbed it. All right, so let's go thrifting. My goodness, that was longer than I thought it was gonna be. Got through everything that we found at the bins. Let's go thrifting. That's the fun part, right? Let's do it. But first, there's just this one little stop we made on our way. And it's Joanne checking out something on the side of the road. Hey, there is no shame in our game. If there's something that we think is worth saving, we're going to check it out. What do you think? Do you want to pull it out? I don't know. Stand it up. You want us to get out and help you? <laughs> Joanne's going to, Joanne is checking this piece out. Oh, it, it's missing the shelves. Oh, okay. Last shelves here. All right. Yeah. Well, you never know until you check. Can you use the spindles for anything? Like the wood pieces? Okay, we are in the Goodwill in Gibsonville. Oh, cool. I think it's cool. I'm gonna get that. This Goodwill is huge compared to the Goodwills in our area. Kelly turned us on to this. Prices are really good in here from what I'm seeing so far. And there's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. going through quick here first and looking at everything. These are cute.
those shelves packed. That was a fantastic place. I'm so, I, I can't say enough. I'm so glad Kelly said, let's check that out. I think she's been there before, so she was, you know, cueing us into it. And man, I appreciate that, Kelly, so much because my in-laws, or my mother-in-law, actually um, lives in Haw River. So, well, Burlington is their address, and Steve works in Burlington, and so we're that direction quite often, and I'm definitely going to be stopping there again. Look at this. This great, this is beautiful. This brass piece, it's made in India. It's fantastic. I mean, somebody's going to love this. Brass is a big seller in our booth. I mean, anytime I put brass in, it sells. It is just a great you know the it's just got that nice warm tone to it it really looks great in any decor i love this piece it's like a dual candle holder and it is solid it is solid brass just beautiful now probably this came with a pair but i think this can go on a, it can go on a wall with you know with a picture it doesn't have to have a pair it doesn't have to be perfect some people like things to be not so perfect I'm one of them, so it's okay. We're gonna sell this in the booth, no problem. I did pick up those wooden candlestick holders. I thought they were great, they were vintage. So definitely grabbed those. Again, nice warm tones. They've got the black accent on them and they are a pair. So I think the people that want the pairs will be happy to have these. Sticking with the kitchen theme, we always, like we said, we always buy things that are kitchen items because we do have people that look for them, so can never go wrong with a good zester or cheese grater. It's a citrus zester or cheese grater. It's a beautiful piece, so definitely grab it. I told you that Steve picks out three items that he says are his favorite. Well, this week he picked out four. This was one of his favorite. He really liked this. This is a gourd. It's all carved with animals on it, but it's actually a bowl. It's a gourd bowl. So I said yes to the gourd bowl. And I can never go wrong with these. This is for putting your planter on it. It's got that uh, Asian chinoiserie. That's a hard word to say, isn't it? Uh, decor piece, so definitely grab that. Joanne asked me if I wanted this and I said yes to the brass leaves because they're beautiful and people love these. Again, this probably came in a set of two originally and I'm pretty sure this is probably home interiors. I think I remember actually buying this. You know, my sister was a home interior uh, agent or home interior distributor, I guess is what you call it. I mean, she, she made a living doing that. She did that full time. And so I'm pretty familiar with the home interior decor and I do believe this was home interiors. Look at these cute ducks. Are they, or, yeah, they're ducks. They're not geese, they're ducks, right? Yeah, they're ducks. Oh my gosh, they're adorable. So it's a set of coasters. They're in great condition. This was a no-brainer for me. Who doesn't want a set of coasters that are, that have these beautiful, cute little ducks? And look at the little baby duck on there. This was the first piece that I picked up at that Goodwill. Love it. Just a beautiful brush, probably for, um, you know, uh, polishing shoes. This brush was probably for that. Was some, that. You know what? We're talking about first jobs. I told you my first job was working at uh, the video store, but I actually used to uh, polish my uncle's shoes and make money doing that. So that kind of... This this is what a this is a shoe polisher I believe or or a garment you could also use it for cleaning lint off a garment. I also picked up this trivet, beautiful carved wood trivet. I love it. Goes with the boho decor in our booth. And look at this pretzel trivet. I have never come across this before. It says on the back, Littitz. Pennsylvania, home of the pretzel. And I looked up where is Littitz, Pennsylvania located because I'm from upstate New York, just over the border of Pennsylvania. And I didn't recognize the name of that town. So I looked it up and it's just north of Lancaster, which I really should have recognized that, but I didn't. But I thought this was so cool. Also found this beautiful copper mold. 
This is a Miro, it says it right there if you can see it. So that's a no brainer for me. A Miro always sells in our booth. Look at this absolutely gorgeous rustic cross. I don't even know why I hesitated on this. I did. I, I just was wondering if somebody would really want this, but when you look at this, it's got these really rustic looking flowers on it. And then it has this metal all around it. Somebody really worked hard on this piece. And then the wood on the back, it is beautiful, beautiful wood. It is a gorgeous cross. And I, like I said, I was hesitating on it and there were a couple of ladies there that were elderly, that were shopping. I'm gonna be elderly someday too, but there were some ladies there and they said, oh, that cross is so beautiful and they definitely sold it for me and I decided to get it and Joanne was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> that is gorgeous, where did you find that? So I'm glad I picked it up. This is another one of my favorite pieces that I picked up this uh, on that on that shopping adventure. So beautiful rustic cross. And the last piece I want to show you today, Joanne brought to me and asked if I would be interested in it because she, again, she knows that we do a lot of brass in our booth. And I said, absolutely, let's give that a, a try. I think somebody will love to have this piece. And what really attracted me to it was on the back here, it says that it was made in Greensboro, North Carolina. And this was made the same year, unfortunately, that he passed. So I, I definitely grabbed this. And I think somebody's gonna really want this in their home. So that is it this week. Woo! Man, what a what a great thrifting adventure that was. We had to make two-part video out of it. I mean, we did. We just came home. Joanne's truck was completely packed in the back seat. The whole back bed of the truck was full. We just packed it right in there and it was so much fun. We found a lot of great treasures. We had a great time together and um, I just can't say enough about this industry. I've met so many wonderful people in this industry and I'm meeting more and more and more and it just makes it all worth it when you make new friends and you have a great time doing things that you love and enjoy together. So. On that note, I hope you all have a great week. You can find all of these great treasures at one of our booths, either at Antiques at Gresham Lake in North Raleigh or Collected Treasures in Garner. And uh, we restock every single week. We bring in 25 to 50 items in each booth. And we price them at a point that even if you're a reseller, you may be able to pick it up and resell it and find you know that you can make a profit on it. Or if you're a collector, you're gonna walk out of there with a smile on your face because you've got a great treasure for a good price. At any rate, everybody, I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope you've enjoyed these two videos. Get out there, find yourself a treasure, put a smile on your face, and take good care of yourselves.